This is Tomo News for Wednesday, January 4th. That poor puppy. New Year's Eve was harrowing for one terrier who almost lost a paw to an escalator at Fort Lauderdale Hollywood International Airport. The dog was flying back to New York with its humans that night and was walking up an escalator when its hind leg was swallowed by the escalator guard. The freaked out owners attempted to free their pooch only to get bitten by the distressed animal. Airport security tried to help but couldn't free the pup without the proper tools. Firefighters eventually saved the day, freeing the terrier from the escalator's clutches and returning it to its humans, both of whom refused treatment for their bites. The dog wasn't seriously injured, but the incident should serve as a warning to keep animals off the moving steps. The sky's the limit for Amazon's flying warehouses. Amazon has filed a patent for a self-driving airship that can store inventory and be used as a base to launch delivery drones. Amazon's airborne fulfillment centers would hover at an altitude of 45,000 feet and be the focal point of a network of unmanned aerial vehicles. The self-driving airships would carry a cargo of Amazon products and unmanned drones to deliver goods to customers. According to a patent filed by Amazon, the drones would navigate horizontally to their destination and would use little to no power. The airships would be replenished by smaller unmanned service vehicles, which could carry workers, drones, fuel, and inventory. One potential use of the airships could be for large events, such as concerts or football games, where they could be used to deliver souvenirs or food. The patent for the Amazon airship was filed in 2014, but only came to light last week. Amazon has successfully tested deliveries by drone in the UK and is waiting for federal approval to roll out the service in the United States. Indonesian pilot fired for attempting to fly drunk. A budget airline in Indonesia is under investigation after one of its pilots was caught trying to fly a commercial Airbus while intoxicated. On December 28th, the tipsy pilot, 32-year-old Takad Perna, successfully bypassed security checkpoints, stumbling through the metal detector and dropping personal items along the way. The pilot then entered the cockpit and began making a largely incomprehensible pre-flight announcement that unnerved some, if not all, of the 154 passengers on board. <laughs> Not wanting to put their lives in the hands of a flight captain barely able to string a sentence together, several passengers walked off the plane. Concerned, the passengers reported the pilot's strange behavior to CityLink airline staff, who then quickly had the pilot removed and replaced. The flight took off about an hour behind schedule, but better late than dead. The president and operational director of CityLink have both resigned over the incident and the pilot has been fired as the investigation continues. One year ago, AirlineRatings.com ranked CityLink among the bottom 10 of the world's major airlines with the lowest safety ratings, nine of which were from Indonesia. Since 2001, a reported 40 air accidents in Indonesia have resulted in fatalities. Factors for the country's failings range from outdated equipment and planes to runways that are too short. A shortage of skilled pilots ground personnel and most notably air traffic controllers is also to blame, with only 1,400 people charged with monitoring the more than 10,000 Indonesian flights per day. According to an MIT statistician, one out of a million airline passengers will die on board an Indonesian flight, 25 times the death rate of airlines in the United States. That's not good. Teen shoots to internet fame for befriending family of raccoons. It's not easy being a raccoon. Food can be scarce, and when nature's cupboard is bare, what's a hungry bunch of raccoons to do? Luckily for a gaze of five raccoons in Seattle, they have a friend in 18-year-old Kayla Lynn, an aspiring singer and devoted feeder of raccoons. Lynn's bond with them began back in August of 2016, when a lone raccoon came by her home in search of food. The teen opened her fridge to the raccoon with offerings of bread and gave her the name Rosemary. Aww. After a while, Rosemary the raccoon started showing up with a few family members, a pet.
Apparently, word of free food travels fast in the wild. And before long, Lynn found herself providing dinner for the hungry critters every night at 7.30 on the dot. The relationship was quick to catch fire on Twitter, garnering 22,000 retweets after Lynn's pics were posted on December 28th. While this friendly feeding may seem harmless, others looking to befriend raccoons and other wildlife would be wise to keep in mind if raccoons get used to showing up at your door for handouts, it may hamper their foraging skills in the wild. Anyone offering food should probably only do it once in a while. Otherwise, the raccoons may not be so friendly the day you forget to leave their meals out. Super Volcano Stirs Under Millions in Italy A super volcano that last erupted nearly 500 years ago is showing signs of reawakening. The Campi Frigre supervolcano lies beneath the Bay of Naples in southern Italy and contains 24 craters along with numerous geysers and vents. According to scientists, there has been a recent decrease in gas pressure at the supervolcano. There has also been a recent increase in the temperature of the supervolcano's hydrothermal reservoir. The combination of these two factors means the magma may be approaching critical degassing pressure, which could lead to volatility and even culminate in an eruption. Campi Frigre is Italian for burning fields. The supervolcano is 8 miles wide and sits directly under more than half a million people. Campi Frigre spewed ash across Europe for eight consecutive days when it last erupted in 1538. The Italian government has raised the threat level of the supervolcano from green to yellow, meaning that it now requires scientific monitoring.